Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 5.30 starts now. A family's long wait is over. After delays caused by COVID, a man is sentenced for a crash that killed a 20-year-old from Dearborn. Tonight, the victim's mother is reacting to a judge's decision to give jail time to the man who killed her son. Ahmed allows he was on his motorcycle in Warren Avenue in Detroit back in 2020 when Cleophas McGowan pulled into oncoming traffic. Attorneys say allows he was killed instantly. Sean Lay has been talking to his mother today after today's sentencing and a very heartbreaking tough day, Sean. Tough day and a long wait for sentencing Karen and Pam. We've been following this case since the very start here. We're also talking about a driver who not only pulled out but did not look either way, had no license and no insurance, so should not have been behind the wheel. Today finally was sentencing day. He got six months. I just sat down with the motorcycle drivers. He's only 20 years old. His heartbroken mother so she could share her story about this. There was a bombing too close to Suhad Alosi and her children in Iraq in 2016. Uh, maybe I, I will lose my kids there. So I decided after this uh, bombs happen, I decided to leave Iraq. She and her children moved to Detroit's west side. I think it's safe to my kids, but I cannot believe I will lose my son here. It's a huge think to me. Even I'm crying every day. For nearly two years, Suhad has dressed in black. She is in mourning. In March of 2020, her 20 year old son, Ahmad, was killed on his motorcycle when an unlicensed, uninsured driver pulled right out in front of him. 47 year old Cleafus McGowan was charged with a moving violation causing death, but never spent a day in jail due to COVID delays. Today, McGowan was sentenced. Suhad had never seen him before today. Yeah. I asked the prosecutor if he is here today. I cannot see him today. He is sitting next to me. I don't know. Even I don't know he's sitting next to me. McGowan was sentenced to six months. He could have got more time in jail if he, we would, you know, the, if the courts uh, entertained a trial. Uh, but then the specific case, there was a plea agreement, and he took it and he ran with it. A six months uh, jail, a uh, jail sentence. I want to talk to him face to face without judge, without anyone. I want to tell him why. Why you killed my son? He's too, too, too young. Back here live, I asked Suhad what would happen in this case in Iraq, and she said, of course, there would be a longer sentence. But more importantly, she says both families would come together. There would be apologies and support, and both families would stick together and try to move on together from something so heartbreaking. But in this case, Karen and Pam, that is not happening. Live on the West Side tonight, Sean Lee, Local 4, back to you. So feel for that mother. All right, thank you, Sean.